and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Sultai Amnesia. This looks like to be a sweet donation deck uh, that we got here for today. So the whole plan of this deck is to take advantage of this uh, rarely seen Rivals of Ixalan rare induced amnesia. Three man enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, target player, so you can choose, exiles all cards from their hand face down and then draws that many cards. And whenever it's put into a graveyard from the battlefield, uh, then return the exile cards to their owner's hand. So we have two things to do with this. So we can either target ourselves and take all of our cards in our hand. Like let's say we have four cards in hand, put those four cards aside, draw four new cards. Um, or we can do that to our opponent as well. So if we, most of the time, we're probably gonna be targeting ourselves with Amduce Denisia and setting those like, you know, four cards or however many cards in, in hand aside. Because then if, if we do that, then whenever Am Induced Amnesia goes to the graveyard, then like your cards in hand don't go away. You just take all those cards you exiled, put them back in your hand. So you can have like eight, you know, you get it to having eight cards in hand instead of having the four. So easiest way to get that in our graveyard, we got Vraska Golgari Queen to um, combo with it where we can sacrifice our in Induced Amnesia to put all those cards back into our hand. We also have uh, God Eternal Bantu that can sacrifice our Induced Amnesia there and Casualties of War to destroy the enchantment as well. Now, that's what we're going to be doing most of the time. However, sometimes maybe we'll target our opponent. If we have a Narset out, they can only draw one card each turn. So like, let's say they have six cards in hand and we have a Narset out. We can play Induced Amnesia, make them exile those six cards, and they only draw one card because they can only draw one card with Narset in play. So we can basically take you know, get rid of their whole hand and make them draw one card anytime we have a Narset there and hope they don't have a way to, to destroy our induced amnesia. Um, we can even, or no, we can't trophy our own amnesia. We can't do that. So that's, so that seems to, like it's going to be really sweet. So that's what our deck's kind of built around, uh, you know, really abusing this uh, enchantment here. Uh, something I haven't really done too much. This will be pretty sweet. <clears throat> uh, we do have a, quite a bit of sweepers also. I'm a big fan of that. We got a bunch of Cryo the Carnariums and Ritual of Sets since we're going to be, you know, kind of doing like these other things that aren't really playing to the battlefield, like our Induced Amnesias and Vraskas and Tamios and Narsets. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, we have we have two Reliquary Towers for two lands, even in our three-color deck, because of how strong that can be with Induced Amnesia, like we're talking about. Like, let's say we had, let's say we have like five cards in hand. When we play our Induced Amnesia, get five new cards. And if we already have Rask on the battlefield, sacrifice it right away. Uh, go put that other those other five cards back in your hand. Well, then you would have had to go and discard three. But if you get the Reliquary Tower out there, you don't have to worry about them. Um, we also have a Masterminds Acquisition Package. So we can have two of these where we can go look for Amnesia if we need it or go look for something to get rid of it or go over to our sideboard and get anything that we need. Like maybe we need Mass Manipulation or Nezahal against a control deck, um, anything like that. Awaken the Erstwhile. This is not a card I've played very much of, but yeah, we can make people discard their hands. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can make each player discard their hands and then make uh, have them both make 2-2 two -two zombies. So like against control, we can have them discard their whole hand, uh, make some 2-2 two -two zombies, and then maybe we have a Cry of the Carnarium underneath the in in Induced Amnesia that we know about, and we sacrifice our Induced, induced Amnesia, get our Cry back. Who knows? We're, we could have some corner case scenarios just kind of happening here. You never know. You never know. All right, well, let's, that's our deck. Let's get to the games. Let's try it out. Sultai Amnesia. Yeah, so we'll see, we'll see how this plays, yeah. Because, yeah, this, this seems like we can have like a lot of cool little combos and everything with this card. No black mana. I don't think we can keep no black mana. I don't really want to get rid of this hand. This hand looks pretty sweet. 
I'll just kind of do like a, a land check here if I would keep it, just so I know. So four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, only 13 black sources. All right, I think that's something that we need to maybe, yeah, we're gonna have to up the black sources in this deck. Because I think I think black sources are gonna be really important with all these cry of the carnariums and, and things like that ritual. So it's I'm not sure if we can really get away with 13 only. Um, but let's see. Oh no, I need land. Well, maybe we draw Narset, and we can Narset and then Amnesia our opponent. <laughs> yeah. Where's our London Mulligan rule? Grappling Sundew? cycle yes yeah, could be a, a yeah this is a, probably a defender deck you know like the yeah bant yeah bant wall deck there is always hope All right, one more land. We can bond to. I'll sack. I would sack Amnesia and probably a land to draw to. Yes, yeah, so this is. They have high alert and. They should have high alert and and the Bant creature Arcades. Just the trick for this. Well, that's unfortunate. Just put three lands to the bottom. So yeah, it doesn't really make sense to have Huatli in this deck if their creatures are just defenders. Like, Keep an open mind. you know, it does. It would make sense to have. I don't think I really need a Thought Erasure, whatever those cards are. Hmm. So Ritual of Soot, they get to... Huh. I kind of actually want to take Assassin's Trophy, because that can kill... No, I'm just going to take Vraska. So R Ritual of Soot, like, they have the two Watchdogs, right, that they get they can sacrifice to make these things indestructible, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. I was thinking about taking Trophy, because Trophy would, would kill Arcades or... Uh, high alert right away. Your demise won't be quick. All sacrifices must be made from time to time. All right, let's get some more lands. Uh, 
Target me. Let's see if we can find, you know, so that's seven cards. Let's see if we can find a reliquary tower. Nope, no reliquary tower. That's pretty sweet how we're just gonna have seven cards whenever we want them. That's true. That's a good point. Huali may be their tech against red, like really against other aggro decks. Gain a whole lot of life. Pity we couldn't have been allies. And Huali works on defense. You know, makes these things like really good on defense. So Brontodons can destroy high alerts. I don't really need Cry the Carnarium for any reason. So we gotta play one of these other cards. Um Manipulation costs a lot of blue. <laughs> that was probably the weirdest game of magic I've ever seen. Yeah, we mulled the four there. But our opponent's deck just literally didn't do a single thing. <laughs> so it didn't matter. I'm playing this manipulation. Hmm. I don't really want any of these cards there in the sideboard. We've got to put one of them in. Eldest Reborn, Jace, Nezahal, Manipulation. I guess I'll go Jace. Great. Nezahal lives in the ocean and can't be blocked by walls. Yeah, I mean they like none of their cards. Yeah, even though we mold a four, like they they had no cards that had relevant text on them at all. Like, they just had like they mold a zero. Like none of their cards did a single thing. Oh no, Arboreal Grazer. That can actually attack. If there's a Huatli in play, well, it can attack any time, but it can actually deal damage. Oh no, one mana, three, three. Shall wield this power for good. One mana, three, three, so strong. Not another blue source for Narset, but I'm gonna keep it. So plan right now is next turn do nothing. The turn after have Golgari Queen kill Huatli. Yeah, Wild Nakadal, standard legal. Yeah, I was playing Selesnia Papa earlier today, Phoenix, yep.
Fresca. I leave the Golgari now. With every loss, I grow bored with them. this fight. Get out of here, Watley. No, another one. I have come to help. All right, so we're gonna acquisition oh, for nice. another Huatli, but hmm. Then I'm going down to two. Play this Bantu here. All right, more Vraska. This Mastermind's acquisition card is pretty cool. thing says you have hexproof and then makes multiple walls. I guess that thing. Yeah, Casualties of War is cool. It's time to be this is just one yourself. in the poem. <laughs> Opponent's lands went a wall. Poor opponent, just trying their cool wall deck. So I think I go Narset and look for Amnesia here. I don't think I need to play Casualties of War right now. I think I'd rather see if they draw like a white or a blue land. Wait for Casualties of War for that. I know and meditate and prepare. There's an Amnesia. This Amnesia. This is like a sweet combo. Target me. Get rid of these three. Draw three. Going to die Sack Amnesia, draw a card. Plus, get my three cards back. That is awesome. I approve. Is there a possible way to build a five color reborn in Singleton? The mana is going to be. That's. That'd be really, really difficult to do the mana, how you can only use one of every dual land. But it'd certainly be possible, it'd just... It'd be pretty difficult. Hone your prowess. Um, land, creature, artifact. Very 
one is expendable. Good game. Our deck's fun. Of course, we didn't... Our opponent didn't really do anything, those games, but... Our deck was fun. Uh, yeah, I don't... So... Tamiyo for the dredge deck. So yeah, you'd play Tamiyo instead of... Like, I don't know if, like, adding in all the green mana to be able to support Tamiyo is worth is worth it over just playing Ashiok, honestly. So you'd have to... Yeah, you'd have to play a bunch of blue-green lands, then also you're going to take more damage than if you want to keep... Like, like maybe you'd have to just get rid of red mana so you just can't ever cast Arc Light Phoenix. Correct. No storm. Yes, I I know that. Yeah, and yeah, we talked about talked about that with how you can induce amnesia of the opponent when you have Narset and they just draw one card. That last opponent didn't really make a lot of sense for us to do that. Um, but yeah, that's that's an option for amnesia. Um, my hand is pretty good. I don't think I really want Amnesia away this hand, honestly. Even though we, we may just draw, you know, another Ritual Sudden and another Vraska and a, and a fourth land and stuff like that, but we have everything that I want in hand. So I'm going to first do this. Kill those things. Against is it Phoenix? I probably just I probably take out Frilled Mystics. Probably want to maybe bring in Veto Dovin's Veto. I'm not sure. I'd have to really be looking at the deck. Um, I know in that matchup, like getting getting Shalai Shalai with uh, Spark Double is is certainly like that's the goal. Shalai Spark Double Lyra, you know, get those things in. That's the goal there with that deck. I'm good. Everyone is expendable, except me. Yeah, this deck has been really fun so far, Abigail. But Frilled Mystic isn't so good against Phoenix, um, because it costs a lot of mana and dies to shock, where... Uh, where like Doan's veto is a little better at like helping protect whatever you want to protect for a lot cheaper. Huh. That stings. Oh, I was getting bored anyway. All right, good old three mana draw five. Um, hmm.
Dark Bargain. That card's sweet. So I can I can dig seven cards deep by playing another induced amnesia and just hope I hit hope I hit a reliquary tower. That's that's pretty risky. That's not really that risky. I don't I don't actually have to uh, tick up and draw these other seven back. It seems fortune favors you. Hey, there's a reliquary tower. Perfect. We got two of them even. <laughs> ah, so many cards. So many cards. I need to just... I need a Mastermind's Acquisition for my Jace, because I'm just going to mill myself out. Because I could just induce Amnesia again and just... I could just mill myself out, like, actually. I now realize why we have Jace in our deck. Alright, so that kills a Planeswalker. That's probably bad for me. Uh, Storev, whatever, we can, we can exile that thing. Let's get rid of this thing that kills a planeswalker. Um, I kind of need land. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so. That's where when I have all those cards, that's when I can acquisition for awaken the erstwhile, and then erstwhile discard my hand and make millions and millions of tutus, or you know like twenty or whatever. Okay. Okay. That's a cool combo. And then they don't have a hand anymore, so they can't kill all your tutus. All right, I'm picking up what you're putting down here. It's pretty nice. I don't think I really need a sideboard too much. Like, maybe... Maybe get rid of Trophy and put play Moment of Craving instead. Doesn't seem like our opponent's one that we really need... Trophy. Not the same thing like... I don't know if I really need casualties of war against our opponent. It's just really expensive. We'll just play a bunch of moment of cravings. <clears throat> Someone clipped that. I can make millions and millions of tutus. Or, you know, like 20. close. Alright, we could use another blue-black land. Or, in particular, another black land for these. That's the more important. Yay! Pretty cool art. I like the skyline in this art. I like that skyline. How do you? How would you ever beat a red deck with this deck? Well, you would just. I mean, you have a bunch of Cryolocrinariums and Ritual Assets. It's a good start. I have practiced again with thoughtfulness before action. <laughs> I'm down for any deck that runs Relic Warrior Tower. Yeah, how does any deck really beat Red Deck wins anyway? Yeah, we have those four Moment of Cravings. We have a bunch of Vrasses Contempts.
We can kill Frenzies with our Assassin's Trophies and um, Casualties of War. We got Main Deck Enchantment Removal. You know, never know. Things happen. An assassin coming for you. That's a bad assassin. Yeah, there's four moment of cravings in the sideboard here. Yeah, De I don't think Deckmaster is working too well today. That's what other people are were saying. Cost four mana? It's unfortunate. Ah, uh, yeah, Reliquary Tower. You have no maximum hand size. Keep your friends close. Kill your enemies. So I could have just let Narset die and save the Ritual of Soot for a turn. Then I'm just wasting my whole turn. But I do need to kill these, like, Death Touch thingies. Because these Death Touch thingies just destroy my Planeswalkers. Like, that's why I couldn't just, like, play Tamiyo. Um, I guess I could have played Vraska minus, but then the Vraska would die. So I didn't really want to do either of those. Thanks, Lumasi. Uh, what is your favorite control color set and then the color set you think is the best? So in standard, um, the color set that's the best is going to be blue and black. If that's what you mean by like two color combinations. If you mean three color combination, it's probably Esper. And that's those are probably the same for the color for the control things as well. Um, let's do this. <laughs> yes, absolutely hard luck. You, you're doing great. Being in gold, you're doing great. Hmm. I don't really have an answer to the store of right now. I guess we only really have contempts in the deck. You would make an excellent to the library. No, there was a contempt there. I was debating on whether to say contempt or say induced amnesia. We had three three contempts, four amnesias. I went with amnesia. There's the contempt. No. together is finished boo
I've sacrifices must be made from time to time. Hmm. The focus and I have just the trick for this. All right, so we still haven't seen an induced amnesia yet. So one's got to be coming up here pretty soon. We know the bottom three cards are not ones. There's four in the deck. I guess we know we've minus Narset twice, so actually we know the bottom six cards. So, yeah, we're at 33 cards. So we've seen 27, haven't seen one yet. One's got to be coming up here soon. It's not often I'm outmaneuvered. Only been playing for about a month. Got to gold last season and in gold now. That's awesome. Good job. Uh, I guess I need to play this card first. And I guess I probably should just contempt this store of. Honestly. Sacrifice. We told you it would be drawn those soon. My favorite card from War of the Spark. No, don't kill my Vraska. Do they have another Planeswalker removal spell? Okay, good. Um, favorite card from War of the Spark? Maybe... Maybe Niv-Mizzet Reborn. Honestly, I really like that card. That's something that came to mind right away. Hmm. Those cards aren't too useful. New cards. Hmm. No land drop. Guess I should have played played a land from there. I may. I was gonna say I didn't sideboard too well. I was like maybe I actually lose this. I was gonna really struggle about actually killing that store of because I went through all my contempts. Well, the other ones are at the bottom. I had Mastermind's Acquisition, though. I just had to find a Mastermind's Acquisition. And I could use a Tamios to get back stuff. Yeah, niv Reborn means that you look at the... you Well, you reveal the top 10 cards of your library, and every... For every guild-colored card, every two-color... Two-color card, you get to take one of each two-color pair. So you can take, like, one Golgari card one Demir card, and, and so on. Um, and so that's why with a card you want to play a really wide variety of all of the different uh, multicolor cards. All right, well, we had the question earlier of how do we beat Red Deck Wins. We'll see if we can draw some lands. We did not. All right. 
my hand was really bad. I kind of wanted to mulligan it, but I did end up keeping... I thought it was just pretty likely that we'd see a, a six card hand with like two lands and a bunch of four drops. Our, our deck is just filled with four drops. It's not really anything too different there. Our opponent doesn't really know what we have going on. All right, we need all these. I want these. Um. Hmm. This is stuff. I guess I just cut masterminds acquisitions. So I think I still want to keep this because this can kill Frenzy and Chandra. It does cost a whole lot of mana though. Don't really know what to take out, honestly. We don't need three Cry of the Carnariums with having all these Moment of Cravings in here. Yeah, we have Trophy and Brontodon. Is that enough? If I take out Casualties of War? I guess we'll try that out. Wait, so if I take out Mastermind's Acquisition, I'm going to just basically only have Bantu to win? No, I need to keep one of these. I'll go down to one Cry and cut a Narset as well. I got turn two moment of craving at the worst. It could have been thought erasure is like the card to cut. All right, what you got over here? Chain Whirler or Tybalt? I think we'll take the Tybalt. And I'll, I can deal with Chain Whirler with Golgari Queen. And then I'll take Frenzy next, next time. You know, we don't need to worry about taking Frenzy immediately.
<laughs> yeah, our opponent didn't see very much of our our deck. See, so yeah, I don't I don't know what they're trying to lava coil, but they didn't see very much of our deck last last game. Um, let's play the Narset minus. No, let's go with this. Still looking for land. Land. Didn't use my mana well, but I'm not going to play... Well, I couldn't even play Golgari Queen, but even if I could, I wouldn't want to play it and then minus it, put it down to one loyalty. Alright, we need to draw green mana. One more blue mana. Mind and body should keep an open mind. I can cry the Carnarium plus moment of craving to kill the chain whirler. I was not prepared for this. No. Ugh. Come on. Frenzy so good. Hey, six one nine. All right, so we need to do... So Brontodon, of course, costs way too much mana. So I need, I'm gonna look for trophy here. Because like Brontodon costs double green. So let's look for trophy. Yeah, we can't cast it this turn. We're going to need to find something for this Frenzy, though. We can find it as fast as possible. <laughs> they got it. another land on top. Oh, that was unlucky for them. All right, trophy. Hmm. I know I noticed this somewhere. Hmm. Wefian with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much for that support there, Wefian. <laughs> I leave dead bodies wherever I go. Ready to join them. Oh, I was getting bored anyway. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Um... I guess I just get an in, in, induced amnesia back. No tail should be discarded. Oh, this, I guess the 
Today's your lucky day. An unfortunate casualty. All right, well, next turn for sure we can use Acquisition to go gra grab Trophy. Come on, let me survive, let me survive. Just be another land on top. Come on, how unlucky can they get? Can they get really unlucky? You and I are gonna take them out. Let's light it up. Okay. So Let's see what I get here first. Alright, another Tameo. this thing back. The storied past holds our future. As long as we win, nothing else matters. Well, we're holding on for a little bit here. I'm gonna let them draw their card first before trophying this. They obviously have all those cards in hand. All they need is anything that deals three damage to me. We were so, so far behind. At least we survived for a little bit. We definitely know, like, at least two of those cards are lands. Ah, oh, dang. There's like no way that our opponent could kill us there. Yeah, dang. All right, we're two and one. We had Reliquary and Tower in play. Reliquary Tower in play, so we had uh, no maximum hand size, so we didn't have to go to discard there. Esper deck. Um, I don't. I didn't have enough mana to do. Question is, could we try for a one turn kill that last turn with dual amnesia into Jace? We would have had to. I would have had to play amnesia, amnesia. Acquisition and Jace. I don't think I had that kind of mana. Well, 
Well, that was great for them. Two counter spells for first two Planeswalkers, then discard for the third. That's too bad. Uh, Guru, just decks I want to... Yeah, just I play decks that I want to play that day and maybe decks that I haven't played in a little while. Um, you know, just like whatever I feel like playing. Ooh. I lead the Golgari now. Step aside or be proud. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. I don't think I minus and kill Augur Bolas. I don't think Augur Bolas matters that much. Oh no! Eldest Reborn. Tilt. My brow is with thoughtfulness before action. Stop. If you show remorse, I yes, and, and induced amnesia stuff is pretty sweet. Uh, I must stay focused. Are you kidding me? It's like a perfect hand. All the just all, only counter spells, discard. Like why couldn't they just have like some creature removal? Blah. Let's skip to the good part. That came into play tapped. Okay. Well, they should wait. Whatever. All right, so we want these Elder Spells. Uh, we'll have our own Eldest Reborns. Um, a Jace, a Nezahal, a Manipulation. We cut all these Ritual Soots and Cry the Carnariums. I guess that's... It's maybe too many cards. That's fine. Manipulation costs too much blue. Let's take that out. Um... The Jace. We can like acquisition for those if need be. Let's go with this though. All right, we'll try keeping this. We don't have don't have a second blue for Narset yet, and we know nothing's going to actually resolve. And we can't resolve anything. Ooh. I 
Alright, gonna just grab the Narset while... Like, while this uh, Tamiya is still there, before it, like, potentially leaves. I want to make sure that it draws a card instead of, like, taking up and maybe missing. Yeah, I thought Erasure would be a good one to minus and hit. There we go. Let's see what we got going on over here. Kefnet? Gosh, those are all just good cards. Eldest Reborn, of course, kills my thing. These are just all really good cards. Yes, I guess we'll let our opponent have the Kefnet, and then, yeah, I can Amnesia them. Get rid of these other things. In mind. Honestly, don't even know if that's really worth it. But we do get rid of Teferi and Liliana. Teferi and Liliana are awesome. And so that's why I played I played the uh, the Eldritch Reborn out there so that to have like that other um, make them discard a card, you know, to be able to have that second trigger there. So then they had to discard their card. So now we know the Casualties of War will resolve. So is Bantu an ETB? Yeah, so I can get. Bantu and then sacrifice. Sacrifice Narset and three lands and draw four cards. Maybe two lands. You just don't actually even sacrifice Narset though, with them having this chemistry's insight. Let's get rid of these two lands. I'm definitely not going to sack Amnesia. If I sack Amnesia, my opponent gets their cards back. Your life's about That's to not end. good. Hope you're ready. Don't 
be surprised if we meet again. All right, amnesia us. It was probably going to die anyway. Get our stuff back. Oh, they have another basic planes. Got a lot of basics over here. Yeah, induced amnesia for Asuka. That's a really sweet combo. All right, got game two. All right, let's go for game three. Sure, we'll try this out. Got some ways to kill some planeswalkers. We got good mana. The spell. Well, I guess. So I was. Uh, Alright, so I, I wanted to play the Shockland, and I didn't want to play the one they knew about, but then I guess if I draw my own Narset here, I won't be able to play it now. And prepare. What's the chance this Golgari Queen actually resolves? Hone your prowess. <laughs> Very low. Well, I can just sit back and make some land drops. The Narset doesn't do anything anymore. I don't... I'm not, like, pressured into doing anything right now. I'm sure I can make more land drops than they can. Responsibility. <clears throat> now what? Hold that thought. No land drop over there. They got all spells. So they just want me to play stuff so they can start getting rid of their spells. Go to discard. Dang it. We could start drawing some spells ourselves. We've drawn one Elder spell this entire game. We kept four lands, three spells. So we've drawn seven lands and one Elder spell. Your corpse will make an excellent minion. This looks like a fun new toy. Okay, okay. Wait, I should have kept that land in hand. Yeah, I should have just kept that land in hand. 
Oh, right. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the Narset. I knew there was some reason. Oh, no, I messed this all up. Ugh. That Narset. I just forgot about that Narset ability there. Yeah. Narset really annoying. Bleh. An unfortunate casualty. That was unfortunate. My army is destroyed. destroyed. So if I would have just Elder Spelled before the Amnesia, I would have drawn... Um, show remorse. I'll show restraint. Three more cards. So I, I cost myself three cards by playing that incorrectly there. Pity we couldn't have been allies. No, I am not making this up as I go. Now we should just get counterspelled out of the game. Unlikely, just three cards. Like, even if I have those three cards, am I really winning this? I don't know. Unlikely, but, you know, we don't, we don't know. We'll see what those cards were. You know, like, we should have had that Narset and the Thought Erasure. Could have had that last... Last turn. The yeah, ads. So I could have had. Like previous turn, I could have had no, uh, this Thought Erasure that would have been able to take the Liliana at least. And then Casualties of War. Alright, maybe I would have been okay. Well, the, the Thought Erasure would have, would have ate the Absorb. I don't know. But yeah, now the absorb, of course, kills me from here. Ugh. Now they're like the honestly, the planeswalker passives are tough. Like that's certainly the thing that I make the like the most mistakes that I make in here. Are usually the planeswalker passives. You know, I'm just thinking about what I'm doing over here and. It happens sometimes. It does. Um, this deck was really sweet, though. I'm going to have to play this deck again. I, The one thing that I don't like about it is I don't like how many four mana cards we have. And I, I don't like... I don't like how this curve looks of, like, how the two, the, then the three, then the four. Um, I definitely think we need more two mana removal, two mana interaction. Uh, maybe, like, duresses. Things like that. But... Narset, Induced Amnesia, Rascal Golgari Queen. That is a really nice package of cards. I like the I like that quite a bit. Um, yeah, like that's that's really sweet. The Induced Amnesias were awesome. Like that was that was a really uh, really fun card to play. Acquisition is okay. Um, I think this may be like something that we have to reduce though because of all of our other fours. Uh, don't know if we really need acquisition. I do like Tamiya quite a bit. Uh, sideboard wise, I think I think having, I guess maybe just having that acquisition Jace for like a win con. That was pretty nice. I don't. Can we get rid of that? Do we need that? I don't know. Um, I don't like Nezahal at all. I wouldn't play that card. I don't really like these Eldest Reborns. Want some cheaper stuff? There. Some Duresses could be nice. Uh, maybe Enter the God Eternals for red. You know, something that can get you some life gain. Um, 
maybe less crowded. Like Ritual of Soot is really strong these days, especially with all like the the mana creature decks and Narset, or sorry Nissa decks and everything. But maybe you don't need so many crowded canariums. Maybe those could be like some two mana removal spells. Um, maybe like some Kefnets in the sideboard. That card's great to give you a different look after sideboard. I don't know if you'd want Thief of Sandy, but I don't know. But this was this was really fun. Yeah, I like I like Tyrant's Corn. Um, this was really fun. Yeah, Amnesia, Narset, Golgari Queen. That was that's a really cool shell. So this is something uh, definitely fun to play around with. Uh, mana, we need, we need more black sources in our mana base. Talked about that earlier. I think probably less less of these basics and more some more duels, uh, especially when we have the Reliquary Towers. But having basics, of course, is nice. Oh, yeah, we could just be playing Hydroid Crisis. That card's awesome. Hmm. I don't know where it would really fit that, though. Maybe I don't even need that, honestly, with how much card draw Amnesia is. Maybe you just don't actually need Crisis. I, I did like the Bantu. Bantu is good. And I like Casualties of War. But maybe you don't actually need Casualties of War. This card costs so much mana. Honestly, for what it does, it may not be may not be necessary. Like, maybe this is better as just Hydroid Crisis kind of thing. All right, so that's uh, Sultai Amnesia. Definitely a really, really cool deck. Yeah, maybe... I mean, Vrasa's Contempt is good, but yeah, you probably don't need three main deck because we got to got to have the curve be you know more over here and you know kind of go down you want it you want your curve to be like your most cards and kind of go down this way instead of and instead of like this um but i do like ritual of soot golgari queen and tamio so that's not really places to trim at all cool really really cool deck all right, so thank you so much, Ben. This is an awesome deck. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.